guys, we're getting into absolute value. And today really isn't about equations. You're only going to see expressions today. Um, but I need you to understand absolute value or remember absolute value before we can get into absolute value equations. So this should be just a little refresher on absolute value. So let's look at this little picture I have. Um, and where is the monkey? Well, the monkey is at negative 3. And he's a cute monkey. How far is he from 0? Well, if he were to hop, 1, 2, 3, he's 3 away from 0. Where's the mouse? He is at positive 3. How far is he from 0? Well, he'd have to hop this way, 1, 2, 3. So they're both 3 spots away from 0, but they're at very different points on the number line. So that kind of explains what absolute value is. Absolute value is the distance a number is from zero. So the absolute value of negative three is going to be just three, because this monkey is three spots away from zero. The mouse, as absolute value of three, is going to be three as well, because he's three spots away. So. Absolute value is usually positive, but we might see some exceptions to that down here. So anything that's in red, make sure you get that. So we're going to treat the absolute value symbols, which are these brackets down here, like they're parentheses, because everything that's inside of the absolute value, we have to do that first, just like in order of operations. So after you figure out the absolute value, that's when you are going to continue with order of operations, just like in our previous unit. So let's do some practice problems so you know what the heck I'm talking about. Let me give you a quick one here. This is a refresher of where you guys were at last year. So I would give you a problem like this. The absolute value of negative 6, and you would tell me it's 6, because it's 6 away from 0 on a number line. Okay? These are just a little bit more complicated because now we're in algebra. So let's try these out. So I'm going to do what's in here first. So I'm going to keep my brackets. Negative 3 plus 7 is going to give you 4. Now, I still have to get rid of these absolute value brackets. So the absolute value of 4 is just 4. Okay, so don't skip that step. Make sure you simplify and then figure out the absolute value. All right, next one. I'm going to start by just doing those brackets like I did before. So negative 3 plus a negative 7 is going to give us a negative 10. So now I can ask myself, what's the absolute value of negative 10? Well, it's just going to be 10, because it's 10 away from 0. All right, next one. I'm going to draw those absolute value brackets. 3 plus a negative 8 is going to give you a negative 5. So the absolute value of negative 5 is just 5. So all of these numbers on a number line are going to be how many spots away from zero, and your answer is your absolute value. All right, adding a little bit of an extra challenge down here, just remember you have to do everything in the parentheses first. So I'm going to have a couple steps here. So I'm going to draw my absolute value brackets. This I have multiplication and addition, so I'm going to do the multiplication first. So I have negative 12 plus 2, I'm going to bring everything down. I still have, I'm not ready to get rid of those absolute value brackets. So negative 2 plus 2 is going to give you a negative 10. And now I can figure out the absolute value of negative 10 is just 10. So that's a three-stepper. This is another three-stepper. So I'm going to ignore this one here because it's not an absolute value brackets. So I'm going to do this first. So negative 6 plus 1 is going to give you a negative 5. And I'm going to bring down this plus 1 for now. So my next step is, I'm going to solve this first because it's like parentheses. So absolute value of negative 5 is just 5. Bring down that 1. Now I don't have an absolute value expression at all. I now just have a regular math problem. So 5 plus 1 is going to give you 6. Okay, it's so a little different type of problem there. Last one for us. We're going to have to solve what's in these absolute value brackets and these absolute value brackets separately. So I'm going to have 1 plus a negative 8 is going to give you negative 7. And then in these absolute value brackets, I have 3 plus a negative 10, which is going to give you also negative 7. 
Now what they want us to do is they want us to subtract what these two absolute values are. So let's figure out what the absolute value is. So absolute value of negative 7 is 7 minus absolute value of negative 7 is 7. So 7 minus 7 gives us 0. So the most important thing with this is to figure out, simplify what's in the brackets, and then figure out the absolute value. So simplify things and then find absolute value. All right, if you listen to this whole thing, um, then tell me, uh, let's see, what can our keyword be today? Um, simplify and then absolute. So simplify, then absolute. If you can tell me that tomorrow in class, then I will give you five raffle tickets. All right, see you guys tomorrow.